Well, very good morning. You're watching Weather AM. It is Thursday, November 28th. It's uh, Thanksgiving and to our friends south of us. Uh, Quinell, BC. Look at that pancake ice right there. A bit of slush, a bit of frazzle ice. and You get some pancake ice right there. Not frozen enough for outright ice. Uh, near the Paw, Manitoba. Thank you, Al McLaughlin. And dogs just love snow. Do you love snow? Well, we got quite a bit of it to come. So active weather coverage. And it'll all begin tomorrow morning with Nathan Coleman on the East Coast. He's heading to Moncton, normally stationed out of Halifax, because there is going to be some significant snow headed your way. So Nathan will be joining the morning show. Uh, we've had some light snow in Newfoundland, but it's really this, see the storm system here in the U.S. bringing the rain for the Macy's Day Parade in New York City and a very light rain or snow mix in extreme southern Ontario and into Quebec. But this storm is going to have a bigger impact for you in the Maritimes. Again, starting as rain showers, changing over to snow tonight. The further north you are in New Brunswick, the less rain you're going to see, so the more snow. Um, PEI could be rain this evening, snow overnight, and back to rain tomorrow morning. So pretty dramatic changes. Newfoundland, coastal areas, east coast, that'll be rain. Central regions, northern areas, that'll be snow, and then likely a mix with rain too. So Friday mor Thursday night to Friday morning in the Maritimes. Uh, Fredericton towards Moncton could be up to 15 centimeters of snow with higher amounts further north, a little bit lower amounts further uh, south. Halifax, St. John's, all rain for you. Uh, locally, 10 to 15 centimeters of snow in northwestern areas of Newfoundland. By the way, tomorrow, Newfoundland will also have strong easterly winds. You know, those usual places, the outer Bay of Islands, Bay St. George, wreck house winds, lay sweat as well. So overnight, look at that, zero degrees in Charlottetown, zero in Moncton tomorrow morning. 5 degrees in Charlottetown, so that snow will change to rain rather quickly. Moncton and Fredericton, 1, 2 degrees, so it could be a little longer for that, that rain-snow mix to occur. So we could see very dicey conditions. Speaking of dicey conditions, what is the snow squall? It's a little refresher. Periods of localized snow squalls, snowfall with heavy winds. So that means you can get very, very poor visibility. I know this has probably happened to you in the past. You're driving along, relatively blue skies. You look ahead, go, hmm, that's an ominous-looking cloud. Well, then you through it and boom, you can't even see the car in front of you. That's a snow squall. We've seen some of that off Lake uh, Nipigon this morning, Lake Superior. This time tomorrow morning, look at these bands of snow squalls off Lake Superior. Sault Ste. Marie, Bruce County, uh, Perry Sound, Muskoka, potentially Barry and Owen Sound. And even North GTA every now and then can get scraped by a few of these. Now this map here I think does a great job illustrating what snow squalls can do. Toronto, the city of Toronto, Hamilton, very little. Just bursts of flurries, which at times could be poor visibility. But generally, that's not a high impact. Go north towards Barrie, and then north of there still, you go from trace amounts to 10 centimeters to 50 centimeters of snow. Uh, Buffalo as well, high impact snow. Uh, Fort Erie likely going to get a bit of that too as well. Very cold temperatures, minus 30 in Yellowknife this morning. We've got some freezing fog in Calgary. Uh, we've had some light snow, even moderate snow bands locally off Lake Manitoba this morning near Winnipeg and Portage of Prairie. Minus 9 for you with flurries. 6 degrees in Victoria, 5 in Vancouver, and with that wind chill in Saskatoon, my goodness, it's going to feel like minus 30. But the storm track across the west is the north. North coast inland sections, Prince George, Grand Prairie. For the next few days, you've got periods of snow headed your way. And again, some lake effect off the big lakes in Manitoba.